Welcome to Story Imagination. Today's story time is a tale from Guruvayur in Kerala. Guruvayur Temple is dedicated to the four-armed form of Lord Vishnu as Guruvayurappan. It is believed that Lord Vishnu appeared in this form to Vasudeva and Devaki before his birth as Krishna. There are several stories from Guruvayur which tells us that Lord Krishna expects only pure love and devotion. Manjadi Kuru story tells us about one such devotion of an old woman for Lord Krishna. Manjadi Kuru What is Manjadi Kuru? A type of a tropical Asian tree called the red sandalwood tree produces bright red seeds that look ornamental. The tree is called as red sandalwood or coral wood or peacock flower fence or simply red bead tree. In Kerala, the tree is called Manjadi tree and the seeds as Manjadi Kuru. These seeds are also called as red lucky seeds. The leaves and the powder from the wood are used in Indian medicine. The wood is also used in making furniture and even boats as they are very strong. Manjadi Kuru or the lucky red seeds are found mostly in Krishna temples and few ancestral homes in Kerala. A large uruli, which is a heavy-bottomed vessel, is placed near the entrance to the sanctum of the temple and it is filled with the bright red manjadi kuru. It is believed that the devotee who places his hands in the uruli and runs through the seeds three times is cured of all diseases and attains prosperity. Now the story! A long time ago in Kerala lived an old woman. She was an ardent devotee of Krishna and wished to visit Guruvayur temple someday. Daily she would pray to the Lord, asking him to grant her an opportunity to have his darshan. She also wished to carry offerings to the Lord, but she was poor and could not afford. One day, as she was walking in the fields nearby, her eyes fell on the beautiful red seeds that lay scattered on the ground. She felt happy thinking she could collect these beautiful shiny seeds and offer them to the Lord. She immediately sat down, picked them up one by one, wiped them clean and tied the seeds to her sari pallu. People who watched her thought she was mad to pick those worthless seeds. But the old woman didn't bother and kept collecting them every day. Over months, she had collected a large pouch full of Manjari Kuru. She smiled looking at them and decided to set out on a journey to Guru Ayur with whatever little money she had. She had to travel on foot for days to reach Guru Ayur, crossing hills, rivers and forests. Few people were in awe seeing her devotion, while few others discouraged her from continuing her journey owing to her age. But she was determined and she finally reached Guru Ayur. It so happened that it was the first day of the first month of the Malayalam calendar, meaning New Year for the people of Kerala. So one can imagine how crowded the place must have been. Every year beginning, the king of the land had this practice of donating an elephant to the temple. So he too had come to the temple to offer his prayers. The temple authorities and the king's attendants were busy clearing people to make path for the king and his elephant to enter the temple. In the hustle and bustle, the old lady was pushed and she fell down. Her pouch string opened up and all her seeds fell scattered on the ground. The old lady cried seeing the seeds all over the floor that she had collected with so much love for Lord Guru Ayurappan. She looked towards the temple and asked for forgiveness as she had nothing to offer now. Immediately, the elephant that had entered the temple went wild and started running and destroying everything that came its way. People feared and ran for their lives. The king felt worried and prayed to the Lord to save his people and the elephant. Suddenly, a voice was heard from the inner sanctum that echoed all around the temple premises. 
Where are my little red seeds? Where is my devotee who brought me gift with love and devotion? Why was my devotee insulted and hurt? As the voice echoed, the king signaled his men to look out for the devotee. The men realized their mistake, traced the woman, and helped her collect all her seeds. They then escorted her inside the temple. The old woman finally had darshan of Lord Guru Ayurappan. With tears of joy, she offered the bright red seeds to the Lord. When she finished her prayers, the elephant that had gone mad returned to normalcy. So even to this day, in memory of the old woman's offering, a big uruli full of Manjari Kuru is kept inside the temple. If you happen to visit Guru Ayur, offer some coins or Manjari seeds into the uruli. Take a handful of the seeds from the uruli thrice and drop them back with prayers for good health and prosperity. Please do not take even a single seed with you, as every seed belongs to the Lord there. Hope you like the story. See you another day with another story. Stay safe and stay happy. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Narayanaya.